me, is this seat taken? Good dog hair on the lens. It's a very fluffy alarm system. <laughs> <laughs> Seems you've did it Ooh, Oh, and it baby. works really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't <Okay>. touch. <laughs> okay, so first on the agenda is to remove the eyeball vents. And carefully take a electronics style screwdriver that technicians often carry with them and we'll carefully pull on the nose of the vent and then we'll pop the little clips that hold the vent in which are right here on the inside they're little spring clips and they correspond with these little notches in the vents and that's what holds the vents in oh that's better you friends with me? Oh, you loving me again? Oh, you're so cute. Thank you. So next order of business is to take the shift knob off. And now the center console. is a Phillips number two sized screw. And there's a total of five screws in all. One on each side, one in the center, and two more inside the glove compartment on the armrest. Always a good idea when you drive a Miata to have multiple pairs of sunglasses. Okay, now inside the, after we pull the clips off of this, there may be one more screw here. Uh, if anybody's been in here already, that screw's probably not there, but be mindful that that screw could be there. You wanna undo that. Undo the two Phillips screws that are hiding in behind the eyeball vents. and then gently pop the two clips there, and then this should just pop right off. Now, in behind here, you have the plug for the hazards and also for the headlight um, retractor. And you just push the little tab in and pull that back, and then this can be taken off. And we can get clips on so we can carefully pry it apart and push the clips in. What we want to do is get in behind and carefully push down on these little clips. There we go, we've got the top three, as you can see. Now there's three more corresponding clips on the bottom that we will remove right now. You just want to push on them very carefully while pulling on the fascia. That's another one there and voila, the fascia now comes off. So 
As, as mentioned, this, this piece here is in wonderful shape. This is a, a dealer piece that, as far as I know, is still available. And um, so this comes, and I think this comes with the kit when you buy this. So you can actually peel this decal off and stick the new one on. And then all of a sudden, you look like brand new again, even if you're 25 years old, like this car is almost. Uh, this would also be a good opportunity to change the little peanut bulbs that are in behind here, which in a lot of cases have lasted 20 plus years. Um, so you can actually, you can either reach in behind and turn the little brackets here. You can see how that little, that little plug in turns. That's what it looks like. And we'll actually see if that's working by turning the lights into the park position. Oh yeah, that's still working. And there's another one right in here, which actually lights this whole thing up here through a little prism. So both of those are intact. It's something if you've got the bulbs at the ready, it's not a bad idea to change it now. So for our intents and purposes though, we're gonna leave those in. Then we'll carefully turn that back to the lock position. Okay, so now, We'll pretend we have a brand new one of these. We will reattach, get it lined up, and we'll actually line these guys up into the center, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. And then press fit this back on. So that's something that's a good idea if you are ordering one of these from Mazda, order those two bulbs at the same time. There we are. So, so that goes on like so. Reinsert the knob for the radio, or if not for the radio, for the uh, heater controls. <laughs> and we will take four screws. My lovely assistant, thank you. Well, we won't tighten these up too much. We'll just uh, we'll tighten them snug, but don't over tighten them because you do run the risk of you know, cracking plastics, especially as they age. So we'll make sure they're nice and firm, but not, not overly tight. The, the knobs for the slides, which I have in this little bag of tricks. That is what the screws look like. So we will require three of those. Very easy to lose, those little screws. And now we, we shall switch back to the number one Phillips screwdriver bit. Slide that on there. This may be a good idea to do this by hand. Normally you don't have the obstacles of a camera and a fluffy white creatures and sure. fluffy white helper. <laughs> developing here. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting cleaned and uh, working on cars at the same time. Okay. Hi. 
Well, nobody said that fixing your Mazda couldn't be fun. <laughs> so, having the right screwdriver makes a big difference with that too. If you have the correct screwdriver, the screws tend to stay in place and you don't strip the heads and they don't fall off as quickly and go under the dash or you know, into the dog's mouth or something. There we go. Okay, so now we have the correct amount of knobs and the correct amount of screws and this is all back together. And uh, just a, another way to beautify your interior of your aging Miata. And then what we also want to watch for is these little clips here. Um, quite often they're missing. Um, there's one there and one there and one here. Now, the one on the bottom usually sticks into the surround here. so. We can wiggle that out and then reinsert that clip back in where it belongs, like so. And then it helps us to get a better fit when we put this back together. So remembering to plug in the hazard light switch, like that. And then those clips there, we'll plug in like so. Remember to put in the two screws that hold this bracket in place that hide up in behind the eyeball vents. Like that. Followed by the eyeball vents themselves. screw there we are okay so she's all back together and now we do speakers